The president, Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, Professor Emmanuel Osodike, has urged the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, stop tax waivers meant to fund tertiary institutions in the country. Professor Osodike said this on Tuesday during a public hearing on monitoring and collection utilization and other associated services relating to education tax from 2011 to 2022. Why should the president approve a waiver for banks not to pay some tax. And these are the, this is the, the sector of the industry that makes so much profit on a yearly basis. So why are you preventing them? This is one of the industries where people are properly paid and you are preventing them. So I also believe that the, the legislator can come in this area, that there is a need to stop this so-called waiver. What do you need to do? Collect the money and do the job. Don't allow the company to go and do the job. We should look for how to stop this idea of waiver. And when, it's, when there's a waiver that it should not affect the third form uh, tax, it shouldn't affect the third form tax. Because it's not part of what they gave waiver for. The, the third form tax should be 2% of your accessible profit. Based on that presidential order issued in 2011, there are certain categories of income that are exempt from tax. Some of them include short-term federal investment income from short-term federal government instruments and security such as treasury bills and promissory notes, brand uh, bonds issued by federal, state and local governments, and bonds issued by corporate bodies, including supra nationalities. The last item there is interest earned by holders of the bond and short-term securities listed in paragraph 1 to 3 above. Earlier, the chairman of the committee, Honorable Mariam Onora, stated that the engagement is to ensure that the education taxes are duly collected by the Federal Inland Revenue Service with the aim of putting it into judicious use. What we do is to monitor compliance. And they've been regularizing, updating their receipts of payments. And they've been reconciling. And this is where we, as a committee, have arrived at with you. The bone of contention have always and mostly be that the banks seem to be relying on a purported exemption order which clearly mentioned companies' income tax exemption order of 2011. We have asked the banks to produce the education tax exemption order and they have failed to present it. We have equally presented with, the, uh, uh, with them that you cannot liken one exemption to another because in law you don't summarily assume what we are saying here that for now I'm, I'm, we cannot conclude like you are saying until they furnish the task computation yes. which under professional evidence their task consultant Deloitte computed stamped and sealed and submitted to FRS which from the basis of whatever assessment that they have done. Even as a doctor, I want to submit that it may not be final because we want to have the Lloyd seated here for cross-examination. If there is anything that is important to any Nigerian today is the education of our children. So if you are invited to come in and discuss on how we can advance and develop education, I think it must be taken seriously by every Nigerian. So I want to move the motion that the MD of Zenith Bank, the tax consultants, FRS, in line with the motion that was moved early, appear before this house on the day that we commit on 20th of next month. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.